Hello, my dear friends, and welcome. A couple of weeks ago, I did a video on reducing fatigue, and I'll put a link to that up above and in the description below. And one of the recommendations on reducing fatigue is regular movement throughout the day. Now, this is something that's a challenge for me. I can spend hours and hours a day sitting in front of my computer. So for the past two weeks, I've made an effort to make sure I move once an hour. I have my Fitbit remind me to get up and take at least 250 steps in that hour. And I walk around the house, or I go up and down the driveway twice like I'm doing today. And guess what? My fatigue is better in just two weeks. And I'm not doing anything crazy. I'm just adding a few steps once an hour. I do this between the hours of 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. Okay, I can get really winded walking up and down that driveway and it makes it hard to talk, but I got in my 250 steps. It's really amazing how taking just 250 steps an hour can affect my fatigue levels. I once read a book called The Blue Zones by Dan Buettner. The blue zones are areas of the world where people live the longest and healthiest lives. And I'll put a link in the description below if you'd like to check that out. The people in these zones do nine things that improve or extend their lives. They have a sense of purpose, a reason to get up every day. They downshift, they reduce their stress. They follow the 80% rule they stop eating when they're 80% full. And they eat predominantly plant-based, reducing the amount of saturated fats and processed foods in their diets. They drink wine, in moderation, with their family and friends. They find their tribe. They have strong social circles. They put loved ones first. They have strong family bonds. They belong to a faith-based community and tend to gather at least weekly with their community of faith. And they move naturally throughout the day. Incorporating natural movement throughout the day is a key to a long and healthy life. The people in the blue zones don't pump iron or go to the gym. They move naturally throughout the day. They do gardening, they do yard work and housework. They tend to their flocks. They also ride their bike or walk instead of getting in the car. They walk to the shops and they visit their neighbors. They move naturally approximately every 20 minutes or so. The author calls these exercise snacks. Short bits of movement throughout the day can improve our cardiovascular system, our core strength and balance, and who doesn't want a stronger heart and a better core and more balance? These short exercise snacks before meals can also control blood sugar levels, and that can be particularly effective to help prevent type two, type two diabetes and heart disease. And regular exercise is also really good for our brain health. It can help with cognition. It helps with thinking, learning, problem solving, and improves emotional balance. Regular physical activity can also reduce our risk of cognitive decline, including dementia. It can help us sleep and feel better, lose weight, and reduce our risk of 20 chronic health conditions, including heart disease and some cancers, and can add years to our life. Movement also releases feel-good hormones like serotonin, dopamine, and endorphins. Getting a little boost of feel-good hormones multiple times throughout the day is a good thing, and who doesn't want to feel better? Cognition problems in MS patients are a big concern. Common symptoms include deficits in complex attention, efficiency in information processing, executive functioning, processing speed, and long-term memory. These deficits detrimentally affect many aspects of daily life, such as the ability to run a household, participate fully in society, and maintain employment. Yeah, it's a big deal. In talking with other MS patients, I have heard over and over again that one of the biggest concerns is worrying whether or not we'll be able to continue working to provide for ourselves and will we be able to take care of ourselves. According to the Cleveland Clinic, Physical activity may benefit the brain in a number of ways, including improving blood flow to the brain, 
reducing inflammation, and lowering levels of stress hormones. And if we move multiple times a day, we're doing these three things multiple times a day. So moving naturally throughout the day can improve not only fatigue, but our cardiovascular systems, our core strength, our balance, help our brains reduce inflammation and lower our stress hormones. And it doesn't have to be 250 steps an hour. There's lots of ways to add movement throughout the day. Here are some ideas. Park farther from the door when you go out. Put a pull-up bar in the door and do a pull-up or two every time you walk through that door. Do 15 squats every time you go to the bathroom. Keep hand weights close by, in your office, next to your couch, in the kitchen. Do a few reps throughout the day. Look at chores as a way to get movement into your day. Vacuuming, mowing the lawn, snow blowing or snow shoveling, cleaning the kitchen. Take the stairs whenever possible. Take your dog for a walk. No dog? Borrow one. Or check with your local shelter to see if they need dog walkers. Work in the garden. Bonus, when you get outside, you're getting vitamin D from the sun. The key is to add movement throughout the day. The more consistently we move, the better we feel and the healthier we will be. The question of the day is, are you moving throughout the day? Let me know in the comments below. And what kinds of movements do you incorporate into your day? Thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, the thumbs up button underneath the video, and don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Until next time, be well.